pretty fit skirt. We're back at it. We're just trying all the strange foods in Japan. We saw they had these, we love steam buns, and we saw that 7-Eleven had pizza flavor buns. So of course, we had to get it. It even says pizza on it. Does it? Yeah, they have a little stamp. Oh my gosh, I didn't know that. So excited to give this one a try. I've seen internet articles, people trying all the different pizza buns from the different convenience stores in Japan. Mmm. Is it good? The cheese is actually like real pizza cheese. Is it hot? Like is the sauce hot inside? It's not gonna burn you. Okay. There's a pizza pocket or a hot pocket, but instead of the pizza dough, it's a bun. Which I love. Mmm. Mm. It's a very interesting color. That's not half bad. I also read that the Food Mart one, I think, is a more real tomato sauce. This is your usual pizza. So sugary. Sugary. Mm -hmm. It's like, um, remember Lunchables? Mm. That's what the pizza sauce tastes like. Spot on. So I have to try the Food Mart one. But the cheese is killer on this the one. The cheese is really good. Mm. And figured out why we've been singing Shibuya. Yeah, yeah, Shibuya roll call for like three days because there was an episode of The Office and when they're on the bus. And they all sing it, and that's what it's from. Yeah, yeah, Shabuya roll call. Shabuya, yeah, yeah, Shabuya roll call. My name is Kevin. Yeah. That is my name. Yeah. They call me Kevin. Yeah. Because that's my name. Roll call. Shabuya, yeah. So it feels good to figure out why that's been in our heads. Good start to the morning. On to the next one. So it's Tuesday, October 1st. It's almost 11. We're in Shinjuku at our hotel, checking out. Tokyo stay in Shinjuku. It was awesome. Highly recommend. Very clean. Had our own washer dryer. Really cool bidet toilet. Yeah. <laughs> but it so worked out perfect. We're now gonna head over to our next hotel. We loved our time staying in Shinjuku and we're excited to go to Ueno and explore a new part of Tokyo. Made it to Ueno. Just had some awesome sushi. <laughs> the mound. And we ate most of the mound already. Go for it. The chef was entertained with our excitement over the mounds of sushi and made us special plates. Look at it all. dropped our bags off at our hotel, which the lobby looks really nice. We can't check in bill free. So we're just wandering around. We're gonna just kind of wait. It's 10 after 1 so far. It's quieter. Well, definitely. And it's definitely got a different vibe about it. So yes. It's cool to see something new. And the metro over here wasn't awful. I was surprised for the amount of people that were on the uh, the metro at yeah. 11. Maybe it was lunchtime. Yeah, we were packed in there with our bags, but as we got closer to Ueno, it opened up. But yeah, just roaming around and join Ueno. To kill some time before checking into our hotel, we wandered around Ueno and stopped into a Uniqlo to do some shopping. Uniqlo has affordable quality clothing that we both enjoy. The clothes are fairly plain, which makes them great for a mix and match minimal wardrobe for a traveler. Jenny found some clothes, so I'm gonna sit here patiently. I'll be here. And the shopping trip was a success. So yesterday in the mall, I discovered that I had what well, you're supposed to wear, a face cover for makeup so it doesn't get on the shirts. And you're supposed to take your shoes off. So today I knew to take my shoes off, but what I didn't expect because these tiny little high heels would be waiting for me to use to try things on. So my big American feet didn't really fit in them, but I used them anyway and had the fun face mask on. So we can add some pictures. Definitely. Because I had a good time. <laughs> I also read online that we can check in at two instead of three, so we're gonna go check into our hotel. Alrighty, well, had a bit of a lie down. 
Got a bit tired after all that shopping at Uniqlo. Checked in, it's now 4.30. Perfect time to go check out Akihabara, the anime area in Tokyo. So we watched the YouTube video and we're gonna go check out some of the famous spots there. It's gonna be fun. Ready, Jenny? I'm ready. Let's go. Look at that view. This is the park that you can see from our hotel room. Like we've mentioned, we love the parks in Tokyo. Having Ueno Park steps away from our hotel was awesome. Just look at this. So we're going for a little walk in the park before we head to Akihabara. Beautiful breeze blowing, sun's going down. They got boats. We chose to stay in Ueno in order to save money on accommodation. It's a bit further out and quieter, but still has easy access to the train and metro. The park had wildlife like these hungry fish that everybody loved feeding. There were also people in rowboats and paddle boats enjoying the beautiful weather and sunset on the water. We definitely felt far away from the bustling Enjoyed that nice walk around our park outside the hotel, and we're gonna do a quick little one stop metro ride. Akihabara is the well known shopping area famous for the selection of electronics, games, and of course, anime. Neither of us are huge anime fans, but we wanted to visit this area just to see what it was like. I guess. It's ready as all of her. I don't know if she is. From video games to action figures and playing cards, Akihabara truly has it all. Akihabara is also home to a lot of themed cafes. We didn't actually check one out, but it is something to do if you visit yourself. So Jenny, thoughts so far? My thoughts so far. Yes. It's an eye-opening experience. I really don't know much about anime, but we just saw Tamagotchi and Mario Kart for Nintendo 64, so the throwbacks have been really fun. It's just crazy to walk around. So much stuff. There's so much stuff. So we made it to all 10 floors, hobby shops, different card stations in every single floor, toys, adult-themed things. Lots of section of that. Restricted section that we accidentally stumbled into. I've worked up an appetite after all this. Might go try and find a ramen place somewhere. Yeah. Nothing the in particular. Thing is, this was only one store in the whole entire area of the city that's dedicated to this. And we probably spent, I don't know, 45 minutes. Yeah. For our first ramen in Tokyo, we chose tonkatsu ramen. And oh man, was it delicious. The ordering process was automated, and we picked our dishes off this kiosk, paid here, took our tickets, and then just waited to be told there was a seat open. So we found this ramen place, and we ordered on the machine, we got this ticket, and then we're just waiting for a seat. And then I think we picked out if we want our noodles, and they give you free refills on noodles if you want to be free. That was 800 and $7 or $8. My mine was 900 so not too bad. We got seated together, yeah. We did. They made us wait. I'm glad we did. That was very nice of them. I'm so excited. You're hungry. Pretty <laughs> this sort. So good. The dishes here is so different than anything else we've tasted. So good. Jenny just ordered her meat. Empty bowl. It's amazing. Finished up our ramen. Next up, we're headed to Gamer or something. Remember the name? 
No, but I can look it up. Like the first store we visited, this place had tons of anime merchandise and an endless supply of loud music. So where are we now, Jenny? We watched a video and the guy told us to go find the weird vending machines in Akihabara, so we found them. And I think it's a little creepier because it's nighttime, but there's nobody around here. If you're thirsty, you can get this. Oh, I think that's that little piece soda we yeah. saw. Or a beetle. Or if you're looking to have a nice round of catch, they also have softballs. Jingle Bell. A McDonald's toy. Some more drinks. And then these are stories with, I think, like a box of cookies or something. While not a must-see, these vending machines were quirky and kind of weird and just something kind of fun to check out if you're in Akihabara. Check. Yeah. Check the box. And it's just across the bridge and a left from the main crazy lights and sounds and all that. Next I think we're gonna go check out some strange stores, so probably won't be filming in there. So Pop Life Department Store M's. Not your average department store. We are not filming in there as it is X-rated. Very unassuming on the outside though. <laughs> Definitely not a place to bring children. 